All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would rest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, presenting the challenger, the Giants. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Imago Mena. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves just make it fun. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Table inches right there, boy. Wow. It was
almost good night if that landed. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the tone. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Slips. Loaded up on that right hand, too. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Magomedov striking here over here. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Ooh. Lancing right hand upstairs. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Now, all in a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high punch, taking for a right. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. And he landed the right hand there. Nirmago Medov gets caught with that punch. He lands flush with that right hand. Got the single collar tie. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. That's a nice strike there by Nurmago Medov. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing his skill every single day. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? So 31 total strikes have now landed for Habib Nurmago Medov. Two minutes to go in round one. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eight. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, that's a good right hand. Straight punch there, lands on the counter. Nice job using his reach advantage there. Right hand landed. And both guys really throwing with authority. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Nice shot inside by the champion. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Nice leg kick. Yeah. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, a little single collar tie there. That's a big strike right there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Kick flock by Nurmago Medov. Now he touches him with the left. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Missed with that jab attempt. Though. Good punch, man. Now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. 
All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. Overwhelming him with different attacks. Back and forth we go! His misses are not You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And how beat lands early when he lands off. Oh, collar tie. Slipped that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Try to establish that jab. Oh, spinning backwards. He didn't telegraph that one at all. All right, single collar tie now. Look at the control of the posture as that big knee lands. Nice punch there. Slips the left hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. This is again with a right punch. Great punch landed with so much power. Start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Fabio. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game. His ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. Nice. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. God, and now he's got hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Nurmago Medov gets caught for that. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So holding out to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, another strike lands to the liver here. He buckled him with quick entry to get Man, him on a that single. Was a great single. Oh. Big slam takedown. That was good. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound would be a plenty from this position. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Throws the right hand there. Nurmago Medov gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You got to like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Goes to the body there. Good right hand. 
throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is gonna have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Oh, a huge block there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. And they set this Big kick lands. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, spinning back fist. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, nice strike landed there by Nemago Medov. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Lunges forward with a left there. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut. Just misses with oh, the jab. Man, look at that. Victor perfect. Got the leg, got the position, got another beautiful takedown. Three minutes now to go in this one. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Nermago Metal. Slips to avoid that left. Out of range with that one. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big punch land. Ooh, liver kick. Oh, hook to the head by Nermago Another. Oh, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt him and it very bad. Every time these guys come together, man, it's just weird of the punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, big left hook there. Overhand right, swing and a miss. We're not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Good punch. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. 
Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend him, and make the fight happen where he wants it to. Able to check the high kick. Oh, strong punch there by Nurmagomedov. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, hard work pays off, lands the Superman punch flush. Final seconds of round three. Nurmagomedov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. A beautiful straight right hand. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, he threw it straight, he threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for a decision is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. There it is, there it is. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. What a punch. Just a slip there. Whiffs on the straight right hand. And they separate. Good punches he's thrown on The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect, and that one landed perfectly. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see it. What a big time takedown. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Just out of range with that strike. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. You need to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's income. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like he landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that. In there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Mago Medov gets caught. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, just get the ground and pound. He can attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arm dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Nurmagomedov gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. 
Right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Armando Metal. Close guard. Back to the feet now. Under a minute now to go. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 4 minutes, 11 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle, Evander Vera. Well, it's becoming a pretty common visual inside that octagon as Khabib Nurmagomedov gets his hand raised yet again here tonight. And when the injuries and the weight cutting issues aren't part of the narrative and we just focus on the combat and this guy's skills, he looks the part of the best lightweight in the world. A lot of people believe that eventually you are looking at a UFC lightweight champion, if not UFC Hall of Fame.